the president of Economy Suisse, Mr. Heinz Kacher, for his opening remarks. Mr. Kacher, please. Dear President of the Swiss Confederation, dear Deputy Prime Minister of Singapore, Excellencies and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me express my sincere gratitude to the Ministry of Education of Singapore and Swiss Embassy for organizing today's Switzerland Singapore Business Forum. Also, on behalf of Economy Swiss, I would like to address my warmest welcome to all of you. As an umbrella organization of the Swiss economy, we are committed to strengthening bilateral relations and intensifying trade and investments with a view to securing long-term and sustainable business relations. Our membership base consists of 100 trade and industry associations 20 chambers of commerce and a small number of individual company members. In total, we represent 100,000 companies of all different sizes and approximately 2 million jobs in Switzerland. Today's forum provides, in fact, one of these precious occasions where business and politics from our two countries can meet to discuss a subject that is of highest relevance, both for Switzerland's and Singapore's current and future competitiveness in a globalized world. Our skilled workforce. In a time where the world seems to be turning a lot faster, we are confronted with a great number of both economic, political, and societal challenges, digitalization, global value chains, or demographic change, to only mention a few of them. At the same time, I am deeply convinced that these trends also have an enormous potential to foster economic growth, wealth, and prosperity for business and society. These potentials are best leveraged when our citizens and employees themselves can develop their fullest potential. For Swiss business, this is the main reason why we are strongly committed to our education system with a long tradition of vocational and professional training. Approximately two-thirds of all gratitudes at secondary schools in Switzerland choose a vocational education path. One third decides for a further education at the high school and university. Furthermore, a person that has gone through vocational education also has the possibility to earn a diploma which enables him or her to study at the University of Applied Science. Hence, not only the society assigns great value to vocational education, also the permeability between the different education paths is quite high. This way, the Swiss education system contributes strongly to our low level of unemployment. Especially, the vocational education is not only close to the labor market, but also built upon a wide support from all industry sectors. This is one of the secret ingredients that made the Swiss education system ranked number one according to the World Economic Forum. As a highly developed economy like Switzerland, Singapore is also following the same path and shares the same vision for a future ready workforce. Therefore, I very much look forward to a fruitful exchange 
during this forum. But Singapore and Switzerland share a lot more than just their vision for good education. When we take a, a look at the, um, our economic relations, we see impressive growth rates of bilateral trade volumes over the last years. Among the goods most traded are watches, pharmaceuticals and chemical products, as well as precious metal and machineries. Singapore is one of the most important trade partners for Swiss companies in entire Asia. This is also reflected in impressive figures regarding direct investments. Since 2008, Swiss FDI stocks in Singapore have doubled to currently over 17 billion Swiss francs. 400 Swiss companies employ over 25,000 people in Singapore. It is therefore a matter of course that as a head of the Swiss business delegation, I'm accompanied by a great number of business representatives from various sectors who wish to not only sustain, but very much deepen their business relations with Singapore. Therefore, I'm very grateful for today's opportunity to exchange and network. This way will not only reach the goal of a future ready workforce, but also unlock the potential of a future ready Swiss and Singaporean economy. I thank you very much. We thank you, Mr. Kahara.